I was a nerd in junior high. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, uh, I hated sports. I did very well academically. Um, I uh, didn't really hang in, hang out with the in crowd. I didn't really hang out with any crowd. I was kind of a loner. I had one or two friends, though. Um, and uh, essentially just uh, was there simply because that's what people do at that age. You go to school. And I found certain things interesting, but I wasn't terribly ambitious. I got bugged for that. Um, but I fixed that because, well, <laughs> right now I'm 6'1", I weigh 230 pounds, and I'm very physically fit. Uh, I was the same at that age. Uh, well, not quite as big, but I was just as tall. I was, I've been this tall since I was about 15. Uh, I did the predictable thing. I just uh, beat up an alpha male. I didn't beat him up badly. Uh, just in such a way that a lot of people saw it. This was on my father's advice. I was brought up in the Irish community, and that's what your dad teaches you to do. Um, that uh, settled that. Um, but I, to this day, I, I never really understood why people had something against nerds. Um, n not only that, not all nerds have my advantage of uh, just sort of DNA uh, induced uh, size, I suppose. Um, but uh, that uh, that got me thinking. I thought, well, people are really cruel towards people that are otherwise harmless. And then, well, you study history and you find out things like, well, uh, Adolf Hitler was a nerd. And ultimately, when I got onto YouTube, I found out that nerds are just as cliquish. There's an in crowd, an out crowd. There's alpha males and stuff like that. Uh, uh, popular girls. Um, the whole subculture replicates itself in the nerd nerdosphere, I suppose you'd call it. Uh, I guess I'm still a nerd, um, but uh, the more I study the phenomenon, the more I realize we're really not much different from anybody else in that regard. Uh, cliques and teens and in-crowd and out-crowd and all that kind of thing. It's rather fascinating when you think about it. Um, but uh, it's... Uh, Kind of an interesting thing because a lot of us, I think, on the internet who are constantly beaking off like this uh, often have unresolved issues about our adolescence and our nerdhood and how we were um, persecuted for being nerds. Um, and uh, yet we persist on uh, uh, keeping up with the schoolyard behavior right into our late adulthood, uh, mid adulthood. I don't know, I'm 48, but uh, I see that happening uh, every day here among people that. Uh, look pretty darn nerdy, at least as nerdy as I look. Funny how these things really never leave you. Thank you.